Hey garage heads, welcome back to the 6th Gear Garage. Today we learned that a 2x4 can't support the weight of a bare toyota truck cab. So, I have a buyer lined up for this A43D transmission and I need to remove it. On rusty part out trucks, I've always removed the drivetrain first, then the cab. But this time, I'm going to try removing the cab first. The main reason I'm going to remove the cab first this time is that I'm tired of being under this truck and having rust fall in my face, my eyes, mouth, ears. That gets annoying after a while. California viewers be like, what's rust? Road salt has destroyed this frame along with some of the lower portion of this cab. You can see I've stripped it bare on the inside. I've disconnected every line from the cab. The master cylinder, the power steering, the column is out. Underneath I have all of the body mounts unbolted. See what I mean about the rust? The brake lines, the fuel lines. I'm just going to get this whole cab out of the way. It's so rusty. Give me a thumbs up if you also know the pain of road salt. The frame is pretty sketchy at this point. Check out all the rot inside of the passenger rocker panel through a rust hole that isn't even supposed to be here. And yeah, there's rust up front too. All right, that's enough. I'm not trying to get tetanus today. Amazingly, the A pillars are not rusty at all. So the plan was to lift the cab with a 2x4 instead of picking it up by the rusty rocker panels. Okay, plan B. There you go. A Toyota cab fits inside the long bed of a GMC square body truck, mostly. Now I get to work on removing this drivetrain from above rather than underneath. Here's one of the cab mounts that fell off when we lifted up the cab. Now that's crusty. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more updates as I continue to strip what's left of this 86 Toyota truck.